more new listeners than ever. The latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. Podcasting is attracting more new listeners than ever. According to new research, over 50% of daily podcast listeners began listening in the last two years, says Nielsen's Podcasting Today report, which also says that the number of US listeners has grown by 40% in the past three years. Pinterest has been announced as a lead partner for the International Women's Podcast Festival. It's in London on June the 18th. It's already announced a number of high-profile speakers. And there are coupons to save money in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. Squadcast is getting a new logo as part of their version 5 redesign, according to Zach Moreno. Speaking on the company's podcast, it'll look better on smaller screens, he says. This update is a, it's exactly that. It's an update of our previous logo, but it's got some improvements to it that make it look equally as awesome on like small screens, on um, small sizes and big sizes. And uh, and then also just to be, communicate more clearly what, what we do. We, we have a new typeface in our new design system and the logo is also in that updated typeface. Amazon Music has launched in Argentina. The service includes podcasts from leading media partners and original content content will be launching in the coming months. The number one media company in the Spanish-speaking world, Prisa Media, has partnered with iHeartMedia to integrate Prisa Media's spoken word content into the iHeartRadio catalog. It's not every day that we report on people getting smaller, but Podmatch has done just that, removing 6,500 dormant or low-quality accounts from its service. The Irish Podcast Awards has extended the deadline to submit entries for its inaugural awards. Podcasters now have until Monday the 23rd of May to get your entries in. What's podcasting's biggest challenge? Amplify Media's Stephen Goldstein says it's listener retention. And in the Podland podcast this week, Tom Webster talks about his new role as partner in Sounds Profitable and a significant new event announcement to be made soon. It's time to grow the entire space, and I think we're going to do that if we can get everybody in a room together and and talk about the future in a collaborative way. Congratulations to podcast host Transistor, who say they now have 20,000 podcast feeds on their platform. It's a four-person team, which launched in August 2018. The finalists of the New Zealand Radio Awards were announced, including a number of podcast categories. At the IAB Upfront, Sony Music Entertainment revealed their slate of upcoming podcasts, and Vox Media presented The Verge's Neelay Patel, talking with talent from across the Vox Media podcast network. And founder of True Native Media, Heather Osgood, suggests in an article today that podcast advertising is a good fit in influencer campaigns. And in People News, Liz Aless has been promoted to VP of ABC Audio in the US. She's been with the ABC for more than seven years. She also spent time at WGBH in Boston. And in podcast news in the UK, the modern man has switched from Acast to Audi. We're a monthly magazine show. We don't really fit into cookie-cutter business plans, says Ollie Mann. Ouch, who fronts the show? The podcast has been running since 2015 with incredible true stories and the latest emerging trends. Capture the CISO is a new format for a cybersecurity show where security vendors compete to be the best product. It launches next week, but you're invited to do your homework and watch the pitches first. And Riverside, the popular remote recording studio for podcasts, now has a podcast for itself. Hit Publish picks the brains of accomplished content creators that have been there before. You'll get weekly actionable tips about coming up with ideas, organizing your systems, creating great content and money. Much more, they say. Trailers for some of these at podnews.net slash trailers. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net.